What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of TSSM, SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. Last time we came here, we did the SpongeBob Arena, and we're moving on with our bad man pajama selves. Really, SpongeBob? Grab the ledge! Okay. I guess he doesn't want to grab the ledge? I don't know what's good with it. Oh, <laughs> that's why. I was trying to cheat the game and the game is not having it. That's fair. These game devs worked hard on this game. You need to do it the way they intended. You motherfucker. The jump bucket now serving. I don't know. I was gonna make a joke and the joke just completely fell apart. You know what's plankton? I'm gonna serve you a fucking knuckle sandwich for putting me through all this shit. I had nothing to do with any of this crap. You just decided it was time to friggin' Oh, I mean that seems easy enough. Whoa, dude. Yeah, we don't have our stop ability, whatever that ends up being. I don't even remember if that's in this game, actually. Now that I think about it. It must be, because there's two more things. Wow, that was very difficult, guys. We almost didn't make it, actually. We almost didn't make it. Got very close to falling off there. Wow. Oh no, the button. Our button. It's broken. Ha ha ha. Am I hip with the TikTok kids? God, what am I <laughs> what am I even saying? Oi oi. Why do you guys watch this stuff again? Yeah, this is this is what my life has become. Right here. Just a big L, honestly. That's actually not true. <laughs> oh wow, the clutch. I don't need to give off the impression that like I'm <laughs> like over here depressed or none. <laughs> what is this? A Oh for the love of why am I getting wombowed? Floating block challenge? Oh right, this is the, the other parkour challenge. Yes, 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 yes. Right, so you're gonna see this again as well. And this yeah, it's as annoying as it looks. Again, these first ones aren't so bad. Later on they introduce like ice blocks and as you can see like giant rotating blocks and just ugh. This one is fairly simple. Just get across if you can, more or less. The later ones have, like I said, some real shenanigans to them. You're also timed, which isn't great. Yeah, the box rotating like that doesn't actually do much of anything. It might throw you off if you're trying to jump while they're rotating. A little bit. When they do that, that's a bigger problem. Especially if they catch you out on a jump like that. It can be quite annoying, actually. Yeah, 
And here's the ice blocks. And yes, they also do have ice physics, which is awesome, dude. That background is hurting my eyes. Adds another layer of challenge. Oh, very difficult. Oh, my eyes, dude. I don't know if that hurt your eyes. That was painful. There's this giant rotating background. Good gravy, man. Doink. Doink. <laughs> oh no, combat. Watch out. You know, and that's not to say that, like, in BFBB there wasn't combat sections, because there was, like, the lighthouse and, like, the, you know, the, the sea needle and stuff like that, but... It wasn't as ham-fisted as it is in this game. And, I mean, Cosmic Shake also kind of ham-fisted it in there. I actually don't know which way we have to go. I don't remember. We have to go that way. Because we have to disable the uh, speakers. And Cosmic Shake, like I said, also had forced combat. So there is that. But it feels really, really like shoehorned in this game. Which is funny because it literally is shoehorned in Cosmic Shake where you can't... Oh, switch characters. I forgot you could do that in this game, to be honest. Where it's literally shoehorned in Cosmic Shake because you can't progress without completing those combat sections. But somehow, even that feels more natural than what happens in this game. They're dead. We don't talk enough about how many people SpongeBob murders during these games. He really does just kill a lot of people. Like, especially during the show, too. Oh, no, the tub section. Oh, God. I threw my controller in anger. I didn't. My controller just fell. As I was stretching. God, uh, this this part sucks. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kind of hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any flanking signs you see along the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Super simple. No big deal. Yeah, the, 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 the other challenges on this one. Whoa, that lag. That was bad. That almost killed me. Yeah, the, the time trial and the ring crap in this section actually just suck. As long as, as well as the other on-rail section later, so... We're just gonna leave it for now. Like, we'll do this part just to progress through the game, but we're not gonna do the, uh... We're not gonna do the other ones yet. We'll come back and do them if necessary. Just because I, quite frankly, really just don't want to, honestly. I just don't want to deal with it, to be quite frank. Yeah, 
There's some really weird audio bugs with this. <laughs> uh, man, you gotta love old games. Although, technically, this game is newer than BFBB, so. You know, people were saying that they should get a rehydrated version of this game, too. The problem with that would be you'd really need to overhaul a lot of, like, the... You'd have to overhaul a lot of, like, the more grindy sections. Like, you can't have two sections of paddy wagon with four challenges each. Two sections of... Uh, and there might even be more. I only remember off the top of my head two paddy wagon sections. There might... There might be more. But... Yeah, you just, you can't have these, like, just ridiculously grindy sections in your game. Just can't do it, man. So, it would be less a rehydrated and more like a complete remastering and redux, you know? Because you'd, you'd have to create more content. I mean, you just, there's not really much much of an option at that point because I don't think people would first of all I don't think people would would pay for just a graphics update for this game essentially like god god damn it <clears throat> I don't think people would pay for essentially a graphics update for this game in the way that they did for BFBB, you know what I'm saying? People aren't like clamoring for easier access to this game in the same way that they are, or they were for, you know, Battle for Bikini Bottom. So you'd, you'd have to do stuff to fix it up. And I mean, obviously, kind of goes out saying, but same goes for if you tried to, you know, rehydrate Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Um, you would essentially need to make a whole new game. <laughs> uh, you know. You could keep some of it, but you'd need to change up the content in that game, like, big time. Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, Dennis. ruthless killer named Denny. Fortunately, Spongebob Dennis and Patrick the menace. the paddy wagon in a parking lot. The but thug tug. Missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. We're on a baby hunt. And don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Bubble blowing baby hunt. Ain't nothing wrong with blowing bubbles. Fuck boy. Listen to me, alright? You have to get the key to the paddy wagon back. You have to get the key to the paddy wagon. I don't have to do shit, Mindy. Good news, Patrick. You've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. Is it the slam? Yeah, the butt slam. Butt slam. My flop is the mightiest flop of all. It's called the butt smash. In the air? Yes. You have to be in the air for the butt smash to work. Are they trying to say ass smash? Because, like... That's kind of funny. <laughs> the paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. That doesn't sound hard. 
You'll probably have to defeat all of the thugs to get to it. That sounds hard. You can do it, I know you can. Well, if you believe in me, then I can do it. Yeah. Uh, the key to the paddy, to the paddy wagon. wagon. Get him, SpongeBob. Get him, Cletus. Why did it just switch to a 4x3? Goodbye, SpongeBob. He's dead. The smash. Um, let's just upgrade this. Why not? I don't know what it does. We'll see. Ah, right. Well, I don't need that. I can just, you know, do this. And just, you know... Essentially, I have complete immunity. Because I'm the freaking goat like that. Oh, Patrick. Your grab animation just cost you your life. I'm, I'm down to one hit point. That's not good. Yeah. His smash attack, his flop like that, not great in this game. Not nearly as good as it was in BFBB, where it was actually useful. Some explosive barrels for your day, ladies and gentlemen. Run away! That was a lot of points, man. Look how macho we are. If only being macho was this easy in real life, you know? The key, the claw. He's got a gun. I like how non plus Patrick seems about this whole thing. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Got him. <laughs> Outplayed, get wrecked, get good. Run away before it explodes and kills the town, gang. Jinkies. Don't laugh at, me. Don't laugh at Patrick. He'll probably cry himself to sleep, but, you know. I want to actually remember where you have to go for this, so... Like, I don't remember if I should be smashing through this stuff. Oh, it's just manly points. Okay. Yeah, fair. Fair, oh freaking enough game. Oh, why can't we just let me across easy? It's always something in this fucking game. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Hey, can you stop that? Hey, can you relax? Get out of here, dude. What's wrong with you? What a... What a clown. The disco star? Uh, is that what this is? Or did I just, like, completely miss it? Nope, this is probably it, I would imagine. This looks like a disco board to me. Whoa, that lag. That was pretty brutal. Another thing that was in BFEB, these disco-like floors. Except they move way faster in this version of the game. But they're really not super difficult just you know you can just kind of cruise and there we go that was uh quite simple actually that was something that was introduced in like the uh in, uh, the meme layer the meme layer <laughs> Hey, 
And you know, that's one thing that I, you know, after BFBB, this game, obviously, it has to be way more linear just to fit in with the movie narrative. But it just kind of sucks that you went from a game that was like, you got to visit all these like iconic locations like the Mermelair and, you know, downtown Bikini Bottom and all this other stuff. And then now you're just kind of stuck going through essentially what the game wants you to play through, you know? And it's also partially just because like a lot of those characters were either not in the movie at all to begin with or they were very very minor characters you know like they were kind of just in the background or whatnot like sandy really didn't play much of a role in the movie she was just somebody that just got you know Black belt, here I come. she was essentially somebody that just you know got taken over like by Plankton, and that was her, her only role in the movie, was just to be there to get, you know, mind controlled or whatever. I hate these enemies so much, they're very annoying. You need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. I need to destroy these barrels before I accidentally hit them and damage myself. That's what I need to do. Yeah, get, 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 get out of here, man. We don't need to be playing your games. Keep myself fully stocked on health, because otherwise I really don't want to redo this whole section. Ow, for the love of God. Who designed this fucking video game? You guys could just leave me alone for like 30 seconds, man. You can also fall off, by the way, so. Yeah, don't do that. That would be really not great for your uh, mental fortitude. Almost done this layer. We gotta do one more. Get out of here. There's just one more explosive barrel we gotta deal with, so I don't freaking, you know, blow myself up. Like a genius. Oh well, I'm on skates. And again, these are the enemies from the next section, so I'm not sure. Not sure what the thought process with that was necessarily. Oh, we just got a two for one deal. Look at that. There we go. Just get those guys out of here. Just don't want to deal with it. Go ahead. Try to shoot me with your goo. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Can you just get over here? Get out of here. God damn. Just a bunch of peons. That's <laughs> all you are. That's all you'll ever be. Now I'm getting me. Now I'm just attacking their, their life and their existence because I'm upset. You know, honestly, that's that's just toxic, you know? We don't need to be... We don't need to be attacking people for who they are. Is it funny? Yeah, actually, very funny, but... No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. don't actually do that, that's horrible. <laughs> God, this game is making me go insane with all these repetitive sections and running out of things to talk about. I should just start talking about random stuff, like I was talking about freaking Attack on Titan during the Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, let's play at some point. He's completely ignoring what was actually going on in the game at all times, essentially. 
That's the joke. There was nothing going on in the game. Oh, Patrick is so scared. Oh, almost just died. <laughs> but that's going to do this episode, guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying. And I will see you guys again next time.